Hi, welcome to the Bonds YouTube channel. My name is Trust Inquiry from the DevRel team at Bonds. In this video, we'll have a quick look at how smart contracts and decentralized applications are built on Ethereum and what each term means. The first thing to note is, like, is that just like any other program out there, smart contracts built on the Ethereum chain need to be written in a specific programming language. In this case, that language is Solidity. Solidity was built for Ethereum. Although there are other programming languages as well that you can use to write fine smart contracts. But for Ethereum chain, Solidity is the way to go. For the developers who want to come into blockchain, the question is always obvious. It's, it's very you know, common among developers. Is Solidity worth learning? Well, if you're already a programmer or someone who just wants to learn to code, investing your time and energy in blockchain skills can be valuable for you in the long run of your career. So many companies are already asking for developers who know at least one more language apart from Solidity. Languages and frameworks such as Angular, JavaScript itself, or Node.js. So if you dedicate your time to learning the language, it's going to benefit you in the long run. If you can, please learn it. And given the fact that blockchain as an as industry is hitting mainstream, the technology is going mainstream these days. So a career in the industry is highly valuable and will be really highly ranked in the future. Of course, it's ranking now, of course, but in the future, it's going to be a lot more common and needed. And platforms such as Bonds offer an alternative. Some developers don't have the strength or are scared to go learn Solidity because it may be too hard to learn. Well, platforms like Bonds offer an alternative to Solidity for building smart contracts without writing any code. So you could probably try that out, right? <laughs> what about smart, smart contracts? Well, smart contracts are self-executing contracts with the terms of agreement between the buyer as well as the seller being written into the lines of Solidity code, which means they are digital code, smart contracts rather, they are contracts written in code, which made them smart based on the blockchain technology. They make tra transactions traceable, transparent, and irreversible. They reduce fraud and, of course, manipulation that happens in your normal manual contract signing and agreement being document documented. Benefits of smart contracts are many, but we're going to consider just six of them. Smart contracts bring autonomy, meaning you are the only one making the conformity and do not need, don't require a middleman of any kind. Smart contracts bring trust. Your documents are shared on a shared, uh, your documents are on a shared ledger and encrypted, which means that they can never be misplaced. So trust, you know, is being advocated with smart contracts. Smart contracts bring backup. You can never lose your, your savings on the blockchain as well as all your credentials because all your credentials are stored in multiple locations many times over so you must always find your, your files you can't lose your savings it's always a, a backup a very strong backup on the, on the on the blockchain smart contracts bring safety your documents are always encrypted which means no one can easily hack them it's encrypted so safety of your files or data is guaranteed on the blockchain. Blockchain also brings speed. Due to, fact, due to the fact that smart contracts utilize code to computerize tasks, they avoid a lot of business processes that would otherwise eat up a whole lot of time. So speed is what you get when you try to digitalize your contracts with smart contracts and blockchain. Smart contracts bring accuracy. Automated contracts are not just quicker, but they also fewer in terms of errors that can occur through manual filling of forms. So accuracy, of course, is coded, so it's always accurate and faster, as we've seen in terms of speed. It brings trust, backup, you can't lose your files, 
autonomy you are the one doing it you have no, no middleman to control what you're trying to do so smart contracts are, are worth it right so smart contracts are worth it and smart contracts are what you know dabs use because dabs are decentralized application so they use smart contracts to to be to build you know dabs DApps have back-end code running on a decentralized network and not a centralized server. So in the, with that in mind, they use Ethereum blockchain for data storage purposes and smart contracts for logic. A smart contract, as we've mentioned previously, is a set of rules which live on the chain and anyone can see and run according to them. This means that once the DApps are deployed on Ethereum, you cannot change them. They are decentralized due to the fact that they are controlled by the logic which is programmed by the Solidity code into the smart contracts. A DAB too can have a front end and interface that are written in any language, you know, like React front end language, which can make calls to the back end. It can also be hosted on a decentralized storage such as IPFS, which can use to store your data and of course display them on the front end. To summarize how DABs can be, let's, let's take a look at this. DABs can be decentralized. Of course, that's what you know DABs mean. It means that they are independent, and as such, no one has the ability to control them as a group. DABs are deterministic, which means that they perform a small function, the same function, anywhere they are, they are executed. DABs are Turing complete meaning that when they are given the resources they require, they can perform any action. DABs can also be isolated. They're isolated, meaning that they are executed in a virtual environment known as EM, EVMs, Ethereum Virtual Machines. So if they have bugs, they won't interfere with the function of the blockchain network itself. DABs are really interesting concepts in the blockchain industry. DAPs also have a high level of privacy, which means you do not have to provide any reward documents to deploy them or interact with them. In as much as DAPs are interesting, they have a few drawbacks. One of them is that they are harder to maintain. They have huge performance overhead and they contribute to network conjectures. In as much as yes, they are beautiful and they are cool things to do, it also has its own drawbacks. But most times, the drawbacks are lesser than the benefits of deploying, building, and using DApps. Writing smart contracts and creating DApps can be a difficult task. For developers, it can be crazy trying to learn different things at the same time. So, GT, it has a GS, you know, different tech for blockchain development it can be a difficult task so you have two options either learn solidity you can write smart contracts you know with solidity programming language or you can choose to use bonds a no code tool that allows developers to build and deploy dabs smart contracts nfts and other blockchain based application without writing any code so if you have blockchain expertise or not, you can always join the DABs family by building smart contracts and DABs uh, in no code easily, even if you don't have any solidity knowledge or blockchain development knowledge. So you can sign up today and try it out. Bonds are dev. Feel free to check the description of the video to join our Discord community of over nearly 500 Web3 developers who are sharing ideas and helping ourselves become better by building more helpful dabs and of course contribute to the ever-growing space of the blockchain.